and welcome to our next episode of Pac Man. Now, really? Okay, let's do it. I guess we're doing Pac Man. No, but this is actually Namco Museum. I am your host, Henry, and I hope you enjoy. Weirdly enough, I'm not a super fan of Pac-Man. But I guess Pac-Man really is a big fan of Pac-Man. I mean, look at that. It's plastered everywhere. Now to show you guys some early stuff of Pac-Man. So these were given away years ago in Japan. Two coasters of cork. Power foods called power bullets in English. Yeah, they're coasters. It's actually pretty cool. Of course. Then, by changing it from power food to power pellets here in the West, it does end up encouraging drug use in children. I guess that's not so cool, but whatever. Here is a seemingly tablecloth. And considering those plaques are just unreadable, I guess we'll have to click to see what's going on. Available promotional items for Game Center. And given that image, I think that says 1995 Namco. I believe that was sold in relation to Namco Museum's release. One common theme that you'll notice there are all Namco Museum games there Pac Man. Whether or not Pac Man is explicitly a game on it, there's always a Pac-Man game on it. Oh, and I think these are some comics or something to like about Pac-Man. Probably magazines, really, but... You can always hope. No, a notebook. Sold years ago at gaming centers in Japan. Yeah, it was a comic. Look at that. Namco Comics Pac-Man. For one... Ten... Dollars. American dollars? Canadian dollars? Would you please tell me? Australian dollars? Franks? Huh. I wish these things would sometimes tell me. But now that is a gift. I see why Pac Man is pretty freaked out by it. I would be too if I saw my more lend me on the stairwell. But let's see what's going on in here. printed tips inside, which is pretty useful. Of course, for whatever reason, in Japan, all the ghosts were named after their well, action that they did. I can't remember exactly what the names are, but essentially, there's a scared one who will run away from Pac-Man, an aggressive one who will always go towards Pac-Man, a pink one who will Go. I believe it was... Blue is scared of Pac-Man and runs away. Red always goes forward. Pink just sort of tries to trap Pac-Man. And orange is dumb and moves sporadically. Without any direct coding rely upon to tell it what to do. Which is pretty nifty. And finally, the last thing of ours. What appears to be... I can't tell what. That's why we have to look deeper in. Oh, pamphlets for... Now, while I'm not suggesting it, viewers just cover up the little bit that connects the two out sticking from the letter P. You know what's going on there. 
And then you know why they had to change his name outside of Japan. And even in Japan. Everywhere. Here's some more... Punch Man stuff. So yeah. You can read that? Good for you. You must learn Japanese at some point. And also how to learn really low res pictures. I always thought Japan would be hard enough to read, but low res Japanese? Pretty hard. By the way, whenever I say Japan, I mean Japanese. It's like if I say, oh yeah, he's speaking French. I don't mean he's necessarily French. I mean, he's, you know. Just so happens Japan really is the only country that speaks Japanese. Oh, here's some Pac Man stuff. I think this is t shirts. I really do like how they set it up in this game, though. No longer available. Pac-Man, new. Not even the sweatshirts are in available anymore. Man. I do like how they did make it set up so that I really could imagine that I'm in a museum learning about all of this stuff. It's pretty unique, actually. It's a game concept that I wouldn't have ever seen ever again. I also just found out something that I never knew until just this minute. If you press the circle button, you move faster. But why, though? Also, sadly enough, you can't interact with the game room signs. Those are just textures. However, this is actually pretty cool. So what this is, once it loads, is the PC board responsible for Pac-Man. Or indeed the Pac-board, if you will. Uh, you see what I did there? No? Okay, then. I'm sorry, Pac-Man is definitely pulling my hair at this point. It's, it's one of those things that I do get tired of pretty quickly. And by Pac-Man, I mean bad puns based around him. Good thing there's no such thing as a bad pun. Once again, they should really consider changing that name before bringing it out to the West. Actually, my local movie theater, Krikorian, had still does have a Pac-Man machine that's Pac-Man Stroke Galaga. It's had it for about 15 years now, and it's actually still the best machine there. I don't know if there's a janitor who really likes to take care of that machine, or if it's just it's not as popular, or what. Maybe it's Namco does better building quality over it all, but what I do know is that it is exceptionally well built. And this, I can't remember. It's been quite a while since I've gone through this stuff. Oh, this is the instructions, which, once again, I'd like to implore you guys, if you can read all this, good for you. You've actually already read it twice before, so you should be able to recognize it at the very least. And there's some more instructions. It's actually a different variant of the instructions, so it's all the same information, just tilted to the side. Very unique content. Right, guys? But, I, this is something, I, I'm sure of it, but I can't remember what, I'm sorry. It's been forever since I played this game. Oh yes, here's that thing that I was hinting at earlier. Watch for Pinky. Blinky chases, Pinky ambushes. Inky scares easily, Clyde isn't very smart. This is referring to their colors. In the Japanese version, their names are actually bashful, idiot, lover, and anger, I believe they were. 
or roughly translate as something similar, but as I said, red will chase you around endlessly, pink is smart and tries to ambush you so she can tell you her true love of you, or at least that's what us here in the West were supposed to think. Clyde, or not Clyde, blue is a bit of a wimp and runs away from his problems, and orange is dumb. This is actually another good hint to use the one-way paths near the ghost boxes. It makes travel extremely safe, comparatively. Of course, that is if you're smart enough to be able to actively avoid it. It's pretty easy to die from it, though. Huh. Pac-Man can make sharper turns... When ghosts are near him, Pac-Man will travel faster when there are no pellets in his path. I never realized that. That's actually really cool. I wonder if it's mentioning how when he's afraid or when he's fat he can be better. don't know. That's actually pretty useful. Fruit treats appear when Pac-Man eats a certain amount of pellets. Munch these for bonus points. Which actually, if you guys have played Smash Brothers lately... Yeah, all of these are in it. Which I still don't know why a key is considered a superfood. Or a airplane or a bell, but... Eh. Pac-Man does what Pac-Man does. Power pellets will allow Pac-Man to eat the ghosts. He will also travel faster when ghosts are blue. Once again, I didn't realize about that speed tip. I really like this game. See, when playing on an arcade cabinet, you don't learn all those tips. So I play fairly liberally with my play style, just sort of throwing myself out there hoping I win. Now I'll have strategy. Also, this is all one thing, how to play. It's a slideshow stroke sign, so don't worry about it. This is Blinky. He moves. Inky moves. Blinky moves. Or Pinky moves. And Clyde moves. This is a ghost after you have a power pellet. They're running. There's the flashing for when they're starting to get weak. Or well, when your power pellet is getting weak. And there are their eyes as they wander off. Don't actually know when the stitched variants happen. Or the torn variants. Oh, I had a naked... What? I actually can't remember that. There's some Pac-Man. And there's dead Pac-Man. This is actually a really famous character death. There's all your different fruit. Oh, that's a Galaxian. Okay. I still don't know why Bell or Key are in there, though. And then Blast, sort of. I don't remember exactly why it's there, either. Maybe I will check out that How to Play. I think it might actually be different. There I go, remembering things. How to Play. I would like to know how to play. Eat the dots and dodge the ghosts. When all the dots are eaten, you'll go to the next level. I'm just going to go for... Two credits, I guess, guys. I'm not very good at this game, and I don't plan on playing it for too long. If you guys are interested in seeing it more, you'll probably just ask in the comment section below or something like that, and I might make a follow-up episode where it's just me... Maybe I get some friends over, chill out, play Pac-Man. The History of Pac-Man. Pac-Man was released in 19... <laughs> Pac-Man was released in 1980, and it quickly became a world hit. Actually, be 
back cam, if that's to be believed. It had unique episodes, intermissions, and game developers had varying options of it. In one of the exhibits, Pac-Man is referred to as Puck-Man, but that was a developmental title. I wonder what exhibits they're talking about. Probably the showcasing back there of Mr. Randy Man. Now on to the actual game of Pac-Man. This is also why I love this game. Look at how nice this area is. Look how low res that garden is. It's so adorable. Oh, here's some water and Look at that. There's this windmill. Here's Pac-Man's house, which, totally speak, non-canon due to later games disproving it. But here's Pac-Man. And let's go. And also, I get to control over the switches. Gonna get myself five lives. And switch it on. The arcade vertical mode can be played by setting a horizontal monitor in the vertical position. Oh, that is actually vertical. I thought I was going to be cool for a bit, but simulated arcade is fine for me. Up, right, down, left. That sounds fine. Up, right, down, left. Start game. So... Yeah, see? All of those original paintings are actually brought here. Shadow, Blinky, Speedy, Pinky, Bashful, Inky, Pokey, Clyde. You can actually see down there where the names are sort of hinted at. Bashful meaning runs away. Pokey meaning, well, he's an idiot. The other two, though, being sort of lost in translation, sadly. Well, who's ready for some Pac-Man? Oh yeah, it's the start button if you want to add in credits. So yeah, this is Pac-Man. For those of you guys who don't know, this is a game that revolutionized the gaming market forever. And I'm absolutely garbage at it. Well, at this specific variant, I mean, I'm actually using an official place. I'm actually using a not quite so official PlayStation 1 game controller could explain at least a little bit of my shortcomings. I'm not going to say that it's 
not because that I'm garbage, because I am most definitely speaking garbage player, but it does help out a little bit. Wire. And let me just go right around there, and hi. There we go. I'm going to try to get to the next screen transition if I can, guys. So I think that's three levels. Shouldn't be too hard, right? Aw. This piranha pad by Interactive is pretty hard to control over just slightly. I mean, I personally speaking really do think that's a comfortable controller, but oh, there was nothing I could do in that situation, guys. I'm sorry. As you can see, I'm sort of garbage. As to be expected by a kid who's only played it pretty sparingly. I mean, I'm not a very big fan of the arcades. I never was much of a fan. Aw, oh, boo. How on earth was I supposed to defend against that? Ah, oh, no, I'm no master by any means. I do sort of want to show you guys a transition, but... Oh. Whoop, whoop. Well, that was Pac-Man for you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And... There we go, I'm saving. On other games, I'll go a lot longer. Pac-Man and Specific as well, I am not very interested in playing. I'm sorry, Pac-Man, I love your games, but... Actual Pac-Man was never my favorite. And now, I'd like to bid you all farewell. Have a good time. Keep strong and... I hope you all enjoy. Let's play Namco Museum. I'm out.